Set in the near future, Harp, a drone pilot, is sent into a deadly militarized zone where he finds himself working for Leo, an android officer tasked to locate a doomsday device before the insurgents do. Hey, how's it going everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot back again with a brand new early Netflix review and today we're discussing the new sci-fi action film Outside the Wire coming to Netflix this Friday on the 15th. Now I'm gonna let you all know what I thought of this film and if you should check it out in this spoiler free review but before we dive into it as you all can see on the screen now make sure you're following me on all my other social media accounts like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter that way if you ever want to give me a movie or TV show suggestion review if you ever want to collaborate or just talk movie and TV news you can hit me up on all those social social medias and all those links are in the description below. If you are new to the channel, welcome to the community. Consider subscribing and while you're at it, hit that notification bell. That way you can get the alert for when I drop new content. It will mean a lot to me if you all can like and share this video. It helps out the channel, but I also appreciate all the support. And in the comments section, let's discuss this film. Let me know, number one, if you were excited for this movie, if you enjoyed the trailer. And of course, once you've seen it, let's discuss the film. Your positives, your negatives, your overall thoughts. Let's have a conversation about it in the comments below. So for me at this point, I have I've literally seen hundreds of Netflix films and I've reviewed them on this channel and I've seen quite a few action movies. Just in the last year, we had Extraction, we've had Project Power, we've had The Old Guard and several other action movies. And for me, the bar has been set. The expectations have been set. So I kind of know what I'm getting into when I'm watching an action film on Netflix. So with that being said, getting into the positives, I would say besides like the first like five minutes, which I thought the execution wasn't that great, but the majority of the first half for me, 30, 45 minutes into this movie, I was really engaged into the story. To me, the film at its best reminded me of like Training Day meets District 9 meets RoboCop. And I say those films in particularly Training Day, you have Harp, who at the very beginning of the movie, he does something against the orders of his uh, commanding officers, and he's kind of deployed to go on the ground level. He's this hotshot drone uh, pilot who gets kind of demoted to the ground level and in the ground level he becomes a rookie so he's like the Jake character the Ethan Hawke character in Training Day in Training Day we have Ethan Hawke he meets Alonzo Denzel Washington who's the veteran who knows the streets and that's Anthony Mackie as Leo in this film so seeing them doing these kind of side missions Leo showing him the ropes showing him what it's like to be on the ground and not just pressing a button as a drone pilot was really entertaining to me and I, and I mentioned Robocop and District 9 as I read in the synopsis as you see in the trailer Anthony Mackie Leo isn't your average human being. He's an android officer. So it kind of adds a little bit of a Blade Runner-esque type of uh, story plot to this film. So all that stuff to me was very entertaining. And, and that's when the film to me was at its best. And I'm a sucker for sci-fi. So just the idea that this is, takes place in the future, I believe it's 2036 in this film. And we're seeing how the military, how the US military, and also how Russia, how they are using technology, how they use the drones, how they're using these robots that they have in the film. And the robots are just kind of disposable and, and the humans don't really care about the robots which again plays into Blade Runner and plays into Anthony Mackie's character not a lot of people know who he actually is so I kind of like that aspect and the technology and how it was handled in the film when you speak about the performances, I would say this film is really kind of carried on the, the shoulders of Anthony Mackie, who I have been a fan of since seeing him as Papa Doc all the way in his very first film at Eight Mile and seeing him in Hurt Locker and obviously in the MCU. He's such a, I like Anthony Mackie a lot. And, and for those that are Captain America fans, this is a precursor. This is his tryout run before he's becoming Captain America in Falcon and the Winter Soldier show later in March. He was literally Captain America in this movie, like literally to the point where they called him Cap several times in this film. There's literally a line that Anthony Mackie's character, Leo, says that is literally a line that Captain America says in his films. So I really kind of like this as like a precursor to what we're going to see in the MCU. But I thought he was great as the Leo character. He played a fine line of... He's created by the U.S., so he has this type of goal, this type of expectations of being an android, but he also has his own agenda. So I thought Anthony Mackie was great in this film, and again, this was a precursor to what we expect to see him as Falcon in the show later this spring. So other things that really stood out to me, again, being a sci-fi fanatic, the conversation around technology and relying so much on technology and can you trust the robots, can you not trust them, all that stuff to me was pretty interesting in this film. Transitioning into my criticisms, I mentioned how I thought that Anthony Mackie was a standout. Now, he's not necessarily the lead of this film, even though I think he's the most intriguing character. It's really the lead character is Damson Idris, who is a great up-and-coming actor. Snowfall, He's a, I believe he started off in plays. He's a really good up-and-coming actor. 
he didn't really work for me in this film. Actually, I'll go as far as saying I thought he was miscasted in this film. When you see him in his back and forth, as I mentioned, Training Day, Ethan Hawke, and, uh, you know, obviously Denzel, they're more superior actors in my eyes, and that's no disrespect to our characters in this film, but the chemistry, Leo was really solid, but Harp, as this young, up-and-coming drone pilot who's very arrogant, who's just kind of makes his own decisions and just thinks he knows best, I get the purpose of the character, but I thought the execution and straight up the performance of the character, of the actor, I should say, just didn't work for me in my opinion. I thought the performance was kind of mediocre and it kind of sucks because Harp is the main character. He is supposed to be the audience's way into going into this world and I wasn't rooting for the character Harp. I really wasn't into his story and I thought the performance was really lackluster. So that was kind of unfortunate, especially because I'm a fan of this actor. The film has a lot of different subplots that just don't really add up. In particular, we have our main villain, who's Victor, who's this warlord who's trying to get his hands on some things that can really kind of shake up the war. I thought his character was completely pointless and completely underwhelming. The CGI in the trailer, I'm like, ugh, the CGI looks a little rough, but maybe it looks better in the film. I'll say this about the VFX and CGI in the movie. It wasn't terrible, but it also wasn't good in my opinion. And when it comes to the action in this film, very generic. I did not like the way it was edited. I thought it was like really quick cuts. You couldn't really see or feel the hits and the impact. And there was a lot of gun sh like gunshots and gun shooting in this film. A lot of the action to me was very generic and very boring, if I'm being honest. And kind of lastly, when it goes into this world building, we're introduced to this world of 2036 and these these robots and this war in, of Russia and Ukraine and, and the U.S. or the peacemakers. There's a lot of stuff to dive into, but there is so little world building in this film. We literally only cover like a block worth of territory in this movie, and I thought the world building was there. They had the foundation of being something kind of unique and cool in the sci-fi world, but it was just really lacking in that department. And then when it comes to the story, it's so messy, it's so convoluted, it's so many unnecessary turns, plot twists, reveals. It tries to become this political thriller towards the third act of the film, and it was just poorly written. So I wish the film, after the first half, which I thought was the strongest half, it went into this direction, the second, third act, that I wish they just would have focused more on this ground level of Leo teaching Harp the ropes and seeing the politics of can you trust a robot and kind of dive into that. But it goes into this whole different direction, which I just was not interested in at all. So before I give you my score, my overall thoughts, make sure if you haven't already to like this video, share the video, comment your thoughts in the comment section once you've seen the film, and of course, subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you can get the alert when I drop new content. With that being out of the way, let me give you all my overall thoughts and my score for this film outside the wire so overall this film outside the wire even though i had my bar pretty low and expectations kind of low on this film it still managed to be disappointing in my opinion it had a chance to be training day meets robocop meets district nine i thought that anthony mackie as leo gave a solid performance but unfortunately his co-lead and the main character of the film was a letdown the film cgi the editing the story and the overall direction was poor it had all the pieces to be a cool action sci-fi war film but unfortunately it was just your stereotypical generic netflix action movie so with that being said i'll give outside the wire a two out of five now again anthony mackie did a good job this was a great precursor for him to be captain america so if you're looking forward to see what he might look like in that show then give it a watch but besides that i would say you can skip out in this film and that's just my thoughts outside the wire i want to know what you all thought about this film once you've seen it let me know your positives your negatives and your overall thoughts and let's discuss that in the comments as always make sure to like this video share this video leave all your thoughts in the comment section subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell that way you can get more early reviews on this channel thank you all for watching this review Hope you're staying safe and we'll see you in the next video.